Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. Um, I was reading a post on one of the forums a while back, maybe a couple weeks, I guess, and um, they're talking about Geiger counters. And I'm all well, I'm covered. I have dissimeters. I have digital dissimeters. I have optical dissimeters. I have the CDC equipment, the the war meters, you know, and intermediate meters, and but they're all they're all pretty much analog. <clears throat> and I was reading this one, he was watching the Chernobyl thing, and it, uh, it, uh, what you call it, it got him thinking, uh, which most of us think about, you know. And that, <clears throat> he went out and found a, uh, a mid-range meter that goes from, it's got two different tubes in it, uh, Geiger Mullen tubes, I guess they're Geiger Mullen, two different tubes in it, independent power supplies for them. <clears throat> it's got Wi-Fi on it, so you can upload it to a network. So you can see, like, if, if a radioactive cloud or something is moving across the area, the United States or whatever, it'll upload to a net. Uh, you can check it on your smartphone. I don't know how that's done yet, but you can. Um, it goes from, like, 0 to um, 4.2 retrogen, which I guess that's 42 millisieverts. I'm not good on metric yet, I don't know. But, but this does both. It shows it. So let me show you what we got here. This is the um, MGC500 Plus. Now, this is about a $125 meter. And they're probably going quick. I'll put a link below on Amazon with my affiliate link. Aha. But, um, that, yeah, 500 plus. So, this is how it comes. If you're wondering about the towel, that just keeps everything in. I take that down so I know where my framework is. Because that's I'll, I'll be looking up specs during this video. I can open this thing. There we go. I'll be looking up specs during the video. I'll pause it, but that'll allow me to keep things in frame. So, here's what you get. You get a case for it. Ruby. You get a USB charging. It's charged by USB. Any device you have. Everybody has hundreds of chargers, so we won't even go over that. Um, let's get in here first. This is the, uh, the map of places. Uh www my thumb. Um, gmcmap.com go ahead and take a look at it now if you want it should be up uh, here's a safety guide it does clicks per minute or counts per minute there's a clicks I forget I don't understand anyway but I only know I only know the American versions here but I'm learning them <clears throat> but it's got a lot of information on there um, before we get into it it's got a fairly okay instructions they're not uh, poorly written ones um, it just talks about there's user guides PDF guides you can go ahead and get one now a PDF guide find the right one for you I got the plus 500 plus but let's talk about this here get this stuff out of the way Let me open this up for you It's got a, um, oh, I forget what those lithium ion batteries are, what they're called. If I can open this. There we go. So, let's take a look. It's powered up. Like I said, I don't know all the controls, but I know that little power button there. That's not doing anything, so we gotta hold it, I guess. Battery level is 89%. We're on. <clears throat> so it's, it's telling the current thing. Focus on the camera here. Uh, Retrogens counts. And it's got time, you know, daytime. So it's, it's a dosimeter as well. So you can hang this, yeah, you can hang this in your shelter or whatever. However. I don't know what that does. Uh, okay, wait. Alright, so this changes your counts, totals, or whatever. Coverage, CPM average, totals, um, text mode. We got graphic modes. We can probably change the stats on that, no. Bar charts. I have no idea. 
So, bar schwanz. So that's what I was kind of looking at. Now let's say it counts per minute. Um, like I said, I haven't gone through the instructions on it. That's, that's the units I know right there. Counts, civets per hour. Millerads per hour and large font text mode. So whatever you want. I mean, the text mode has you know all the different counts on there. Uh, you know, counts per minute or clicks per minute. I said I don't remember if it's counts or clicks. It's been so long. Sorry, <clears throat> but it's your your rads, your your metric system, your totals, your daily exposures. I don't know, time and dates. Graphic mode. Graphic mode's not what I want. I want large font mode. If I forgot how to do it, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just hitting buttons here. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. I can see that from across the room. I don't think I have anything here that will set it off. But... <clears throat> Let's look at some uh, information on this here. While we're clicking. Um, pause this for a second. Okay. <clears throat> what he said was the new meters function uh, to track history as well as a decimeter as well. Which means even though the maximum reading on this thing is 4.2 retrogen, the meter uh, can act as a decimeter to a much higher number than that. For example, you spend 10 hours at 3.5 retrogens, uh, the decimeter will, would read 35 retrogens, which is way above its limit, but it would still read it because it, it, it keeps track. Um, this is good because after you come out of your fallout shelter, the readings would be in the 0.1 to 0.5 retrogen range, this will be the exact time you need the decimeter to track your exposure. And the exact time that the extra high range of the meter will pay off. This is extremely low end of a high range meter like the CD715. So basically, the low end where the CD715 will take over, this is an intermediate thing between, between your, your little meters and your, your, your war meters like oh, a dirty bomb or whatever. Um, I should note this does not track alpha radiation. It's gamma, beta, or gamma, bleh, beta, gamma, and X-ray. <clears throat> um, so alpha is not a problem. Piece of paper can stop it. Uh, distance will stop it. Time, distance, and mass are all things. But if you eat it, you got problems. So that's where your lower ones that do alpha is where you do it if you want to check your food. Like I'll always keep it in a bag, a clear bag or whatever, um, to keep these vents wait, keep these vents clear. Where the tubes are, because is that tube in there? Yeah, it's a tube. See through it. Um, <clears throat> the tubes are to keep the uh, contaminants out. Because if if some say radioactive dust got on this, I'd be ruined because I'd never get it all off. And it will switch. Um, there, it'll switch to your angles. However you want to hold the thing. But you can see right here that we're in a normal range here, which is good for North Carolina. That's about your average radiation. Um, <clears throat> you can go outside with it and check things. And, but you can check your food for, for heavier radiation. Not, not the alpha, but... I mean, yeah, not the alpha, but the regular one. So I need to do more research. And this is a really bad review. But I needed a video out today. And I've been so busy here. You can't even imagine. Um, so I'll put a link to it. It's about $125 last I checked. I got this a couple weeks ago. Um, there's a lot of reviews on YouTube for this. Better reviews, honestly. Um, but this... This seemed kind of time sensitive with all the stuff going on with Iran. And all the threats. You know... I don't want to go into a lot of threats, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So... If you need one, that's all I can say is, well, you should have one. Everybody should have one, just like everybody should have portable water or potable water and all that good stuff.
So look into it, go read the reviews. In my opinion, it was worth $125. To me it was. So <clears throat> now if you're gonna ask me if they can track radion, I don't know. I don't know what, what type of radiation radion emits. But if it's any of the, the three, you know, beta, gamma, or x-ray, then sure. Like, I'll have this on shelter. I've got a CD-715 uh, wired up with the probe outside. Is it 17? I think it's 715. It's wired the probe outside, under the eaves on the house, you know, in a plastic uh, soda bottle. So... It'll, it'll detect, but it won't get contaminated. Or I can remove the ball and decontaminate if it ever does. But, you know, it's right up there. You, you can't see me outside because, you know, it's in the eaves. But it's right there. <clears throat> I even got a little fan up there, a solar fan, blowing on it to let it collect more material. If you want to check your house for radiation and stuff, you hold your meter next to your, your vents, your your, uh, your furnace vents, or your air conditioning vents. Or the, the filter, I mean, not the vent. But where the intake is, return. And all the dust in the house pretty much accumulates there. Or if you're running fans, let it get some like lint on the fan and try that. You know, there's lots of things you can do. But this will put you ahead of the game. When Russia had Chernobyl go off, they didn't know until people in the U.S. started detecting it. I remember back then when it happened. So, there you go. You know, if there's some event happens and communication's gone, like an EMP, the Compton effect will come out and they'll, they'll charge the atmosphere with static so no, no communications will work for a while until it dissipates. So you don't know. But I mean, EMP wouldn't create any anyway, or really, stuff, unless it's local. But this will let you know. You should also have a weather station, you know, because you don't know. In, in the book One Second After, I guess the military came up <clears throat> to help out at the end and they're talking about a hurricane in uh, Florida and they're like, oh, we didn't know about it. How would you? Why would you? This is why on ham radio I've got satellite pictures. You know? I'm sure those will survive. They're hardened. They're hardened on the outside. Not coming from the earth, but whatever. Not getting into that now. But <clears throat> you can still download weather facts with your ham radio. Or even, even regular radio. I'm pretty sure I did a video on that a while back to get weather faxes. So, yeah. Alright. Well, I gotta get ready for field day, everybody. So you have a great weekend. Mm, I'll try to get some more videos out, but like I said, I got so much stuff to do. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of projects that I haven't even opened yet. You know. It's just I'm waiting on other components and supplies, you know. I'm trying to get some more cooking videos in and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a great weekend. I babbled on long enough. Take a look. I'll put a link below on Amazon and take a look. All right. Have a good one, everybody. NCP out.